Well, this burned out shell is all that remains of a boarding house in New Bedford. Firefighters tell us one person there is still missing. Authorities just identified one man who was killed. He was 59 year old Manuel Moreira. He lived on the fourth floor of that building. Five people were hurt in the fire. And as WBZ's Nick Giovanni tells us, one man had to jump off of a balcony to make it to safety. Wednesday morning, investigators were back at the scene of yesterday's deadly fire in New Bedford. It's going to be a very slow, methodical process now because we want to be safe about it. The building's uh, not very stable. A drone was deployed, hovered overhead, while crews began ascending ladder trucks once again to take a closer look at the burned out boarding house where one man died, another person was still unaccounted for. New Bedford Fire Chief Scott Kruger said the plan for the day was to pick the building apart. There's two focuses of what's going to go on today. Number one is find that person. Uh, and number two, uh, kind of look at, look at the area of origin where we believe the fire started. The fire forced roughly two dozen tenants out of their homes, including Jason Gilmore, who says he lived on the third floor and made it out via the fire escape when he heard the smoke alarm sounding Tuesday afternoon. I was trying to make it down the stairs, but couldn't make it down those stairs. The fire was coming coming up too quickly, and the smoke was too, uh, too much. After being treated for smoke inhalation and burns at the hospital, Gilmore returned home Wednesday to see what was left of it and figure out where to go from there. Very overwhelming, and just did really too much, just losing everything. When you're in a situation like that, it's just like you don't think, you just, you just gotta go and you just gotta try to get out of there. It's like this, so I lost a lot of everything. And, but just uh, thank God that I'm still here. Chief tells us at least five people were transported to the hospital, some of them severely injured, many others who were displaced taken to a Red Cross shelter. And the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting in New Bedford, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.